But judging from this interview, I think we have already learned a lot of useful things thanks to eye tracking. And I'm wondering for professionals, for subtitles who want to keep abreast with all the uh, new results of research, what would be a good way to follow all the new knowledge that we're gathering? Like, uh, should they go to some conferences? Are there, should we read like abstracts of papers? I, are there any like journals what that people should follow? Like, what would be your advice for people who maybe don't have a lot of time but would like to keep uh, abreast of all the most important takeaways from recent research? Uh, yes, I think there are uh, plenty of places where you can uh, find um, information about this. Um, for instance, when you're looking for um, a journal, I would recommend, uh, for instance, the uh, Journal of Audiovisual Translation, which is open access, openly available. That means you don't have to pay anything to be able to read the papers. It's a, it's a very good uh, source of um, uh, recent uh, research. I would also recommend um, checking their websites and social media channels of uh, different associations, for instance, uh, ESIS or some subtitles associations, uh, as well as uh, getting interested in uh, some research groups that work on audiovisual translation, which uh, again share the results uh, of research. Uh, one of such groups is obviously Audiovisual uh, Translation um, Lab, AVT Lab, that uh, I'm the head of. Uh, we tend to share lots of things uh, and we're very happy happy to share them. If you need anything, just reach out to us and we'll be um, uh, very happy to uh, share. And yes, going to conferences finally is, is a great idea as well. Uh, you can meet uh, not only academics uh, who <laughs> do all the research, you could meet other professionals as well as um, a company. And uh, there are several interesting conferences. The two major ones are Languages in the Media, uh, which take um, which takes place uh, in um, Berlin every two years and every alternate uh, year there's uh, media for all uh, traveling uh, across the globe uh, next year in uh, Antwerp 2023. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess we can add co uh, links for you guys to all these uh, places uh, where you can learn more about uh, these journals or websites or conferences. I think it's fair to say we are a bit Eurocentric when it comes to those events. So I guess for somebody who is maybe based in Latin America or Asia, you can also look for events which are available locally. And there are more and more conferences now uh, on audiovisual translation also in other regions. That's right. Thank you for chatting with me today, Agnieszka. Uh, uh, it's been great to talk about eye tracking research and the results uh, of different studies, including your own. Uh, I think we can certainly learn a lot about subtitling from eye tracking research, and we hope you and other researchers will keep bringing us answers in the future. Uh, yes, thank you. It's been a pleasure. And uh, please bring uh, the questions on so that we have uh, something uh, more to study. <laughs>